What's going on YouTube? My name is Jeans, back doing some ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Shield. Before this video starts, you guys know the deal, show some support by smashing that like button, clicking that subscribe button, and let me know in the comment section down below. Seriously, thank you to everybody who has supported the channel. It seriously goes a long way. So guys, in today's video, we are rocking out with this team sent in by Jack Douglas. Jack, thank you so much for sending in your team. If you guys would like me to play your guys' team, leave the rental code in the comment section down below. And seriously, make it easy for me. Let me know if it's a singles or double team. Leave me a list of the Pokemon along with the code. Rocking out in the front spot for this team is this extra jolt, dude. I love extra jolt and T-Tar, dude. Seriously, these teams I absolutely love. I really rock out strong with them and can get some work done with them. These rocket smart strike, EQ, protect, and rock slide with that focus sash and sand rush to boost the speed in the sandstorm. Then we got this Jolteon. This team really caught my eye because of this Jolteon right here. Because I never used the Jolteon in online play yet, so I'm excited for it. So I can bolt absorb so it can soak up those electric hits with magnet as its item so it can boost its electric damage with protect, bolt switch, copycat, and discharge for an AoE hit. Then we got Togekiss with the wise lens right here, which actually boosts, well, slightly boosts special attack damage. So since she is a special attack Pokemon, we're rocking Heat Wave, Dazzle Gleaming, Air Slash, and Life Dew to heal up all the Pokemon out on the field, except for the opponent's Pokemon, just a team Pokemon, you guys know what it does. With that wise lens, we'll boost up the special attack just a little bit. Then we got the Choice Specs Gengar right here, dude, Gengar coming in Season 2. Coming in hot in Season 2, Gengar's been all around the playing field. Rocket Dazzling Gleam, Shadow Ball, and Sludge Wave for stat moves, and Energy Ball for a coverage move. Then we got this T-Tar to set the Sandstream with a weakness policy. I never really use a weakness policy T-Tar, but I've been getting ran by some of them. It's definitely a beast if you can set it off. Wick Crunch, EQ for an AoE, Rock Slide, and Protect. Then we got this Dragapult with Infiltrator so it can go through Protects as its ability and King's Rock as its item. If you guys don't know what King's Rock actually does, it makes moves that do not have a flinch chance have a 10% flinch chance. So all these moves right here, Sucker Punch, U-Turn, Phantom Force, and Dragon Darts can potentially flinch Pokemon. That's why Dragon Darts will be awesome. It hits both of them and it has a chance of flinching both of them. But guys, if you'd like to use this team for yourself, use it. Rental code is at the bottom of the screen and let me know how you do with it. Also guys, let me know for question of the day, what is your favorite evolution? I was kind of thinking of the question of the day as I was saying that, but my favorite EV evolution gotta be Leafeon. I love Leafeon, but the reason I'm asking that question is because we have Jolteon up in this party, and I would just love to know you guys' feedback. Without further ado, let's rock out with this double scene. Oh no, this guy's rocking a Butterfree team right here, and Butterfree just puts Pokemon to sleep on the daily, so I'm kind of scared of it. I'm definitely kind of scared of it. I'm actually going to be leading my Dragapult here, because I know he's probably going in DD or that Dusclops into the Butterfree and trying to put me to sleep or something. Or he might just go for that Belly Drum, but my, what's it called? My Dragapult has a chance to flinch, and it can do some mad damage, so we're going to go... Dragapult in that front spot. I'm definitely gonna be bringing Jolteon in the back. Jolteon could definitely do some work out here against everything except for that Rhyperior. So I just gotta watch out for that. So we're gonna go Jolteon, not in the front spot though. Jolteon's gonna come in the back. We're gonna go Dragapult in the front spot. Do we go with that Tokus in the front spot? Do we go with that Tokus? I feel like Tokus can definitely do some work. Yeah, let's go Tokus so we can do double. We can double up on moves here. So if he does leave that Butterfree with a Pokemon would follow me, we go into a Heat Wave and a Dragon Darts and just take out that Butterfree right then and there. Say, Night Night Butterfree, get out my face. And then who else are we going to be bringing in the back? We have a Physical Attacker, we have a Special Attacker. I definitely want to bring Jolteon in here as another Special Attacker. Then we got to bring another Physical Attacker, whether it's Exedrill or T-Tar. Got to look through my options here. Got to look through my options. We're going to need... Who are we going to want to bring here? We can see him bring that Hatterene. Oh my god, I ran out of time. I didn't even notice. I didn't even notice. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, this could be bad. This could be very, very bad. We're gonna keep rocking out with this. Oh my god. They should something should pop up on the screen. Like 30 seconds left. 10 seconds left. Like, come on. But if you guys want to catch more content from me, head to the link in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. We stream four plus days every single week. Definitely go check me out. But there's the Butterfree and the Hatterene here. We're gonna go Exigual Gangler. Are you kidding me? What a terrible, terrible little start here. <laughs> Who else will we bring along here? The Jolteon and the T-Tar, okay. I was probably planning on bringing these two, but not these two, okay, okay. What are we gonna do here? He's probably gonna try to put me to sleep. We go for a, we're gonna go for a Rock Slide here. Nice little Rock Slide, potentially get some flinches off. And did we go for a Sludge Wave? Go for an AoE little Sludge Wave, it has no effect over there, so we are gonna go for an AoE Sludge Wave here. He's got Butterfree, he's got a Rage Powder right off the bat. Wow, no Sleep Powder. He's not gonna Sleep Powder, we have a chance. He's gonna be the center of attention. He's trying to go for a Trick Room here. Doesn't affect the extra drill, and the Sludge Wave is gonna pop off here. Yeah, yeet. Do some work. See you later, Hatterene, and Butterfree's gonna probably go down here to the Rock Side. Let's go, dude. What a nice start. Even though we didn't pick this team, I'm liking it. Let's go. Rock Side, get up in there. Yeet. Take him out. Ooh-wee. 
Ooh wee! This worked out. This worked out actually pretty pretty well. He was trying to go for that rage powder, kind of like a follow me, and then go into the uh, trick room, try to set up. But dude, this is game over. This is game over already. Rhyperior's gonna pop out here. That's fine by me. I'm gonna double up on that Rhyperior. I am going to double up on that Rhyperior right here, right now. I'm gonna go Energy Ball into it and an EQ. Does EQ affect Gengar? It's super effective. Dang it. Okay, never mind. Smart Strike. We have Smart Strike, which is dope. Will not miss. It will not miss. And it is Stab. And then we're just gonna go for an Energy Ball. Oh no, we're Choice Spec in the Sludge Wave, which is not bad. Which is not bad. I forgot he's Choice Spec. That's why he does so much damage. Snorlax is gonna protect. Good thing we're not going for you, Snorlax. You're just not gonna be able to get hit by the Sludge Wave. Let's go. Sludge Wave popping off here. Protect does not affect. My extra drill, and it's just gonna do a little bit of damage over on this uh right period. This special defense is kind of poo-poo. That's why I did a decent amount <laughs> for a not very effective move. But Smart Strike's gonna pop off here. Yeah. Do some work. And what is this right period gonna go into? Is that his weakness posse? Oh no. We could be in some deep trouble here. We could be in some deep trouble. Right period's gonna go for the EQ. Oh, that's why I went to the protect. Smart play. He's probably gonna uh, tank us down to our focus ash here. And take out my guard. Takes out my guard, brings out our focus sash. That weakness policy is heavy. It is heavy. I'm gonna bring out my dragon bolt. I am gonna bring out my dragon bolt, and my cursed body makes EQ disabled, which is beautiful. Helps us out a ton. Helps us out a ton. And we're gonna rock out. Oh no, we didn't bring our dragon bolt. We brought our T tar. We're gonna dynamax our T tar, which is fine. Do we have protect on our on our boy right there? On our extra drill? I believe we do. And we get the sand stream going, so we're gonna have that sand rush up and going. Okay, so we will go first. So do we even protect? Um, hmm. I kind of want to go for a smart strike here and just take out my own. I'm just going to take out my own extra drill. Because my extra drill is going to go first. And they're going to probably go after him anyway. So he's dining. He's not going to dine him. Wow. I was going to dine on my T-Tar. But we're just going to take out our own extra drill. Which is not a big deal. Which is not a big deal. Earthquake's going to come out here. Let's go. See you later. Dude, this game's a wrap. This game's a wrap. Is this thing going in a belly drum? I can see this thing potentially going into a belly drum, but we'll take this thing out and be able to bring out our Jolteon. Wow, we didn't even get to pick our team, and we are running things right now. <laughs> he totally needed this, uh, what's it called? That trick room off. But he goes into the belly drum as his last ditch effort. That is his last ditch effort. I can see him being, what's it called? G-Max with, uh, Replenish and probably high horsepower. So we're going to Dynamax our T-Tar after this. And since we're Dynamaxing our T-Tar, we can potentially trigger the, what's it called? We could trigger the weakness policy and just swamp on him. I'm going to Dynamax on T-Tar. And Jolteon's going to get a little love in here. going to get a little love in here. We go for a Discharge here. It does still affect him. Wow. We could copycat him. <laughs> hmm. Now, but I, we outspeed, so there's no point. Oh, we're just going to go into a Volt Switch here. Because we don't want to hit our T-Tar. We're just going to Dynamax go into Max Rock Ball. What's Stab? I think I think uh, Rock is Stab, here, right? Let me see. Let me see. I think Rock is Stab, right? Yeah, Rock Stab, so Max Rock Fall into Sandstorm. We'll do a bit more damage than the Max Quake. But let's go. Max Rock Fall. Yeah, you send it on him. He's going to Dynamax. I'm going to Dynamax. Well, he might G-Max. Might be a G-Max Snorlax here. Come on, baby! Let's go! <laughs> I can't believe we ran out of time and then did that. And just whomped off in the beginning. Like, Sludge Wave into Rock Side double kill. Like, let's go. Let's go. Big T-Tar pops off here. Yeah, yeet. Let's go. <laughs> hey, this is how he sends out the uh, rock sides. He's gonna Dynamax here. He's gotta be G Max. This has to be G Max in this rank battle. We're up in tier 9, though. So they're bringing in the heat. They're bringing in heat. It is G Max. It is Torterra. <laughs> no, it's Snorlax. <laughs> I love his G Max move. Such a good and fitting G Max move for a Snorlax. I love it. But we will outspeed here. Probably do a little bit of damage. Let's go. Bolt switch pops out. Yeet. Tap him up just a little bit. We'll take that damage all day. Max Rockfall. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> Let's go. Deal some damage. Hopefully, he does not find a berry. He's going to go after my Jolteon. Do not find a berry. Oh, he goes after me. That's fine. That's a decent amount of dam damage. Don't you dare find a berry. If he doesn't find a berry, we're in the clear. No. <laughs> he found a berry. This hunk of junk. He's not going to trigger my weakness policy. But we still might be able to take it out here with that little buff it. And then into the Volt Switch. Uh, Max Rock Fall once again. Yeah, I think that's taking out time. Let's go. What you want, Snorlax? I wonder if we could copycat that. If we could copycat that and get a G-Max Replenish on my Jolteon, that would be hilarious. But yeah, that is going to be the game. Let's go. Hopping in that first battle with the team I didn't even set up. I was just like, I planned that anyway, guys. I was just like, yeah. 
Computer, you could pick it. I'll win it anyway. Nah, man, no. But I'll take it. We, we take those wins, guys. We take those wins all day. All days. I definitely want to uh, go into a different team. Show off that Dragapult with that King's Rock and more of that Jolteon. Are you serious? Are you serious right here? This guy's rocking a Butterfree team again. Is this the exact same team? Is this the exact same team right here? Is this the same guy? Did we get paired up with this guy again? Please don't tell me. Please don't tell me. Oh my lord. Same exact team we're going up against. Um, who do I want to lead here? Do I want to lead that Kiss uh, Dragapult this time? Like I said in the beginning. Let's do it. Kiss Dragapult's going to come in the front end. Who else are we going to bring up in this place? I want this Jolteon here. And I want this T-Tar, I think. And I think I want that T-Tar. Is that the plan? Hmm. Or do we want the Gengar? The Gengar could be gross. We could bring that Gengar in here. And the Gengar can do some work if he wants to throw out that Dust Cops and all that. Because Dust Cops with that EB Light. Ooh. It's a tough little challenge for us. Tough little challenge where I might actually roll into the T-Tar. Yeah, let's go weakness policy T-Tar to counteract with this weakness policy Rhyperior. Let's get it. Let's get rolling. Let's get rolling, guys. Oh, my lord. How we get another Butterfree team? That's all I get is Butterfree teams after Butterfree teams after Butterfree teams after Butterfree teams. <laughs> like, I was streaming, and it was just Butterfree teams. Like, it's just a meta right now. Everyone wants to use that G-Max Butterfree with that sleep powder and all that good stuff. Who's going to go into? Indeedy Butterfree. So, he's going to go for the follow me. And I'm going to go for that Heat Wave into Dragon Dark to double up. I'm going to double up and take out that Butterfree right here, right now. Let's get it going. Unless he outspeeds us, but I don't know if he's going to outspeed us. Do we think he's going to outspeed us? It's going to be a tough call. I don't think he's outspeeding my Dragapult. Maybe my Togekiss. Maybe my Togekiss. But the Heat Wave comes out here. And the Dragon Darts come rocking out. If he goes for Follow Me, we'll just double up. All right, here comes Follow Me. Does Dragon Darts go all in one if it's a Follow Me? Or does it still double up? Let's see. Dragon Darts comes out. Let's see. Hit one on the Butterfree. Show it to me. One on the Ndidi. Show the other one on the Butterfree. Nope. Doubles up. On the butter on the NDD. Okay. I thought maybe it goes double double ways. But cool. He keeps my token kiss alive here. He just keep my token kiss alive. What'd you find by me? What'd you find by me? Heat wave comes in here. Yeah, yeet. This thing's probably sash. Is it sash? It's not oh well, i I'm not sure if it was sash. We didn't bring it down well enough. Um another heat wave's gonna pop off here. We're gonna do some work. And then what are we gonna do here? Are we gonna U-turn out? Um hmm. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? We go for dragon darts. Uh, yeah, let's just go for another dragon dart stab. Let's go for another dragon dart stab. Bite save. Dang, dude, the follow me soaks up both of them. Dragon pull is fast sleep. Okay, that's fine by me. Sleep powder's gonna come out here on the kiss, dude. Oh, this game, dude. This game. This game. I might actually hard. S no, I don't want to hard swap a dragon pull. Second's gonna pop out on the pole, right? Yep, on the pole. Oh, eats it up. Mm, he can only eat one more. We got to say he wakes up here. Let's go heat wave once again. Can somebody wake up. Um. We sucker punch over. Or no, let's just dragon arts. We do outspeed either way. So come on, wake up, Dragapult. This will be a beaut. Yes. Let's go. I love you, Dragapult. Yeah, yeet. Doubling up. We can say bye to both these Pokemon. Bye, Butterfree. Actually, is the, is the Indeedee Dalian from this? I think it will. I think it will. Take it out. Take it out. Yes, let's go. Double kill for that Dragon Bolt. He's in the clear. He's rocking out. No more. And Togekiss wakes up here too. Beautiful. You'd love to see it. you love to see it. No more Sleep Powder. Butterfreeze, get out my face. Butterfreeze, get out of here. I'm sick of him. I'm sick of him. They're so annoying. My period comes out here. We are going to hard swap the Kiss into the T-Tar and try to trigger this weakness policy with that Max Steel. And we're going to go straight for that Hatterene. Might be trying to rock a Trick Room. But here comes the hard swap into... The T Tar. And then we're gonna pop out into ch -ch -ch -ch. the Phantom Forces. We go for the Phantom Force. Oh uh, yeah, we're gonna duck. We're gonna duck here in case he what's it called? In case he just tries to dumpster me or something. Let's see what happens. Let's see how we play out here. Dragon Pole. I love you, man. I love you. He has a 10% chance of flinching too. But uh, we haven't really seen it come into effect yet. <laughs> we haven't seen it come into effect yet. But we're chilling here. We are chilling, dude. Thank God we got that Butterfree out the way. That's just what's up. That's just what's up. Butterfree is so annoying. And just, oh my God. He would have just kept the lives of Sleep Powder us and all that. It would have been terrible. Do you see he's not Dynamaxing or does Dynamax come after him? Let's see. Let's see what he does. Sandstream starts up, which is beautiful. You love to see it. Are you going to Dyna? Or he might stay in here and wait for the Trick Room to get rolling? Nope. Dynamax does come out, like I said. He's going to Dynamax out right here. 
I'm hoping he's going for that steel spike. If he goes for the rock, we eat it up. But if he goes for the steel, we trigger our weakness policy and then we get the Dynamax. But he is going to go after this, uh, what's it called? He's going to go for the T-Tar here. Oh, I still Dynamax the T-Tar even after he hits us here. Let's see. See what he does. And of Force comes out here. We're going to drop down here. The Trick Room is going to get rolled. You know he's rolling with that Trick Room. We're going to drop down here. We're going to be able to take out this Hatterene, I think, in one tap here. Max Rockfall. Okay, we eat that up. Now we can Dynamax here. Soak up the Max Steel Spike even better. Oh my. Ooh. Wow. That was some damage. That was some damage. Here comes the Trick Room. We need that Hatterene gone. We need that Hatterene gone. That thing is going to be first in the speedy category. Do I even Dynamax? Do I even Dynamax? I say we waste some turns here and just go into a Protect. Or do we EQ? No, we're just gonna waste some turns here because you know he's going after us. You know he's going after us. We're just gonna protect here. He's probably gonna double up on me. Let's see what happens. Protect comes out. Hatterene's gonna protect too. That's fine by me. We have infiltrate and uh, it will go right through that protect, which is beautiful. Which is beautiful. I don't think he knows that. I don't think he knows it. Let's go. Here it comes, baby. Here it comes. We should be able to eat this. Max quit. Ah, I don't know now. Let's see. Eat it, buddy. We do. Beautiful. That's exactly what I want. Waste his Dynamax turns. Start wasting his trigger and we get this kissing in a little bit. We're not going to trigger his weakness policy. We're not going to tr trigger his weakness policy. Here we go. Ready? Ooh wee. Ooh wee. Let's go. We triggered our weakness policy, which is beautiful. I don't think we're really going to get any use out of it. But let's go. Show it to me. Phantom Force coming in hot. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's get it, ladies and gents. That is how it's done. Ooh wee. A critical hit. A critical hit. Let's go. Let's go. We rocking out here, ladies and gents. We're going to get buffeted by the Sandstorm. So is he. We're just trying to waste these turns. We're just trying to waste these turns. Um, do I go into a Dragon Darts double stat? A double stab darts? So who's he going to take out here? Hmm. We're just going to go for a Crunch with Stab. I don't want to EQ and take out my boy. And sh 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 darts would be better. Would darts be better? Would darts be better? Yeah. Darts is going to be better. Double stab. 50... Let's go. 50 base power. Gonna go for that rock fall on whom? In my ass. Don't be my pole. Gonna go for my tar. I'm surprised he didn't boost his stat. That's fine by me, buddy. That's totally fine by me. I'm surprised he didn't boost that stat up. Yo, Dragon Arch. Yeah, yeet. A teensy bit of damage, but that's the end of his Dynamax, and we still have our Dynamax. He is gonna go first. He's gonna go for my pole. He's gonna go for my pole. And luckily, we do have Copycat on our Jolteon. We're gonna have to Dynamax you right here. We're gonna have to Dynamax you. Oh no, what are we gonna do here? This is gonna be tough. This is gonna be tough. Very physical attacking. Right here. Are you gonna go for me? Are you going to go for my kiss? I might just go for a life do here. Because if you don't take out my kiss, we have this life do. I'm just gonna go for another. Actually, we're gonna go for a sucker punch here and potentially try to get that flinch. Go first, get that flinch. That would be awesome. Let's go. Sucker punch comes out. Yeet. Show me the flinch. Show me the flinch. No, Rockside comes out here. Can we eat this up? Mm, nope, we cannot eat it up. This is tough. This is tough. It gets a crit on my Dragon Pole. Dang, dude. We really want that flinch. We need to waste out these turns. Um, I'm not going to roll out here. Life 2 is going to pop off. He's going to take me out next turn. That's a fact. We don't have Protect. Um, and Ground will be super effective. Dude, he's sitting in a nice spot with that Trick Room. How much longer in that Trick Room? I think he has two more turns in it. Jolteon, I need you here. Copycat's going to have to come in here. I'm going to have to die in the max by what's it called. I'm going to have to Dynamax my Kiss here in order to hopefully survive another shot and do some work in here. That's our last call. That is our last call. Dynamax into a Max Starfall? Yeah, Max Starfall. Or do we guard? Or we can't guard. Now, we're going to go for this uh, Max Starfall here. And then we're going to roll into a Copycat. We have to roll into a Copycat. It's our, it's our only option. Right? It's our only option. Can I just Copycat myself? This should still do what I wanted to do. <laughs> Let's see, let's see. Dynamax comes out here. We have to copycat him. He has that first turn priority. Hopefully he does not take out my kiss. I think he's gonna go for a rock side, try to flinch our Pokemon. And hopefully his max starfall can do a little bit of work with that wise lens. It's gonna be a close one. This is gonna come down to the wire here, ladies and gents. Mo kiss! Rock side comes out here. No kiss avoid the attack. Jolteon, can you eat, buddy? Love to see. Okay, Jolteon eats. Here comes a max starfall. Which is nice. Boop, 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 boop. Do some work. Okay. We just need to eat up one hit here. We just need to eat up one hit. We legit need to eat up one hit. 
how many turns is left in Trick Room? Because I don't mind going for it. Oh, are you kidding me? The Sandstorm does subside. Because if, if there's one turn in Trick Room, I'm going to just... Uh, oh, there we go. That's game. That's game over. Look at that. Last minute victory here. Jolteon's going to come in here. Go for a copycat. Do I have to click on the... My period? No, I click on myself here. For the copycat. Okay. That's fine. We're chilling. That is going to be the game. Jolteon goes first. It's going to do nothing. Right? Does it do anything? Or do we get a Rock Slide going? We get a Dazzling Gleam. Ooh. We love it. Let's go, Jolteon. <laughs> and the Max Star Fall. We'll end this off. GG, baby. GG. That's two ranked wins for us right here. We're 2-0 and with this team. And we get a crit. Just rub it in his face. Just rub it in his face. Beautiful. But that was actually a very close match. I thought maybe that Rhyperior had a shot of finishing off my team and just whooping on it. But we came up big in the end. I am so done. What do you mean there's another Butterfree team? Why are they all over ranked battles right now? This is three in a row now. Three in a row. Can we win this one, though? Can we win this one, though? Do we go with that same squad? Like, jeez, man. We're going to go with that same exact squad, I think. Actually, we are definitely going with the Kiss and the Dragapult in that front spot. Actually, do we go with the Kiss and Dragapult? Or do we take out the Dragapult and go with the Drill? I think the Drill can do some work. I really do. Or the T-Tar. We could lead the T-Tar and the Togekiss to get that Rock Slide off. Because the Dragon Darts goes towards one if it's a follow me. Hmm. Might go for a Rage Powder. Let's see. Let's go. Let's go Kiss. Togekiss. T-Tar. Jolteon. And who else? And whom else is going to roll here? Whom else is going to roll here? Or... Let's start with a Curveball. Let's switch all... Oh, I see the time. I see the time, ladies and gents. First you, extra drill coming in here. Kiss in the back. We go Gar. Last choice. Is it Gar or is it Pole? Let's go Gar. Let's get that gang of the Gars here. Considering he has a defensive tank of that Gigalith. Same thing with that Torkoal. They're just defensive hounds, dude. So if we throw a special attacker on them, they can potentially slap out. But the reason we are going with this Jolteon and this extra drill is we can go into a Rock Slide and a Discharge AoE. The AoE out here with so the Rage Powder or the Follow Me does not trigger us. Let's see who he goes into. Show me the Butterfree. Butterfree had a ring. Exactly what I was thinking. He's going to go for the Rage Powder into the Trick Room. We're going to say, nah, both of you guys are going to go down. The team runs on Butterfree's teams. Let's get it. Let's get it. This charge does no effect towards my extra drill. Rock Slide comes in. Let's go. Let's go. You'd love to see it, dude. Jolteon's probably going to go first here. Or is he going to go for a Sleep Powder? He's going to try to slump us. I don't see that happening. I see the Rage Powder coming see the rage powder into the trick room what you want butterfree what you want dog what's up <laughs> but butterfree is just such an innocent beast it's just like oh, i'm just a little butterfly i'm gonna put you to sleep you to sleep you to sleep do some work rage powder just come out I told you rage powder trick room but watch this watch this this guy is gonna be mad discharge doesn't affect extra joy yeah you tell me that sash focus sash them can we make this thing flinch? We don't we dare get off that trick room. He's gonna bring he's bringing the giggle in here. Oh! Ooh! Jolteon MVP! Love to see it. So now we have a paralyzed chance and a flinch chance here. Show me one of them. Show me one of them! Let's go! Critical hit on the hat. Let's see. Come on, show me one of them. Paralyzed or that flinch. Oh, are you kidding me? What you mean? What do you mean? Are you kidding me? Bogus. Some bogus out here. That's some booty butt bull crap right there. <laughs> Torkoal is going to pop out here. This thing's going to start slapping. It's going to start slapping. It's going to be sent out the drought. The drought's going to pop here. Um, do we go for another discharge here? Let's actually try to get that paralyzed. Do we go for the protect? We're going to go discharge here. And EQ would slap on him. We're going to go for the... Mm, no, he's going to go for the Dyna. He's going to go for the Dyna here. Let EQ do some work on it. Mm, mm. Actually, I got a plan. I got a plan. We're going to go into the Protect over on the Jolteon. Into the EQ on everybody. Because <laughs> EQ should be able to take out that Hatterene, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Protect. Mwah. Jolteon. Awesome. Love you. Love you, Jolteon. Stay paralyzed. Let's go. Paralyzed comes up big. Eruption's going to pop out here. We're protected, and we are sashed here. It's surprised he didn't Dyna. Surprised he didn't Dyna. Maybe saving it for his other Pokemon. Sash is going to get triggered here, which is fine. EQ is going to do some work. Gonna do some work here. Wish we had a, a move with first turn priority here. EQ. Protect. See you later, Hatterene. Hatterene might go down here. Let's see how much damage we do. Hatterene stays alive, but we do some work to that Torkoal, which you love to see. You love to see that Torkoal. Um, now we're going to uh, discharge out. Do a little explosion action. 
And now we're going to protect our boy Extra Drill. Because I know one of them is going to come after my drill. One of them is going to come after my drill. Protect comes out. Look at this. Just playing that Protect slow game. Look at this lead. This lead is nasty. Oh, oh my god. Hatterene is not having a good day today. Hatterene is not having a good day. Can we eat this? Uh, yes, we do. Jolteon comes up huge. The Hatterene is not having a good day today. Not at all. <laughs> the powers are coming out here. Can we double kill? Show it. Oh, so close. Oh, but we get the para. Jesus, Jolteon, stop it. Jolteon, knock it off. Jolteon, just please. Please, just stop it. But dude, Butterfree teams just get smacked on this team. Yeah, Sean, it's going to pop out here. Watch me copycat this thing. This thing's going to be awesome. Oh, we're going to go for the copycat. We're going to copycat on the Jolteon. And we're going to go for a rock slide. Or do I protect? <laughs> I can't protect. I'm going to protect. I'm actually protect here. Waste out these turns. He's going to Dynamax his Gastron, I think. But we are going to protect. And we are going to go into a, an EQ. We're just going to go for an EQ. If we can get this off, that'd be awesome. But he's probably going to take us out. Dude, look at this. Protect game. Playing it slow. You don't want it, dog. You don't want it. You Dynamaxing? He's not Dynamaxing? Door calls paralyzed. Yo, you love to see it. You love to see it. <laughs> Domination! Domination out here! Paralyze is coming up huge. EQ pops off. See you later, Torque. Oh, bye bye, buddy. Gastron's gonna take some hits. Oh my lord! Oh my lord! <laughs> Paralyze! This is too funny. Every time he gets a chance, it's like zzz, zzz. paralyzed. <laughs> um, how are we gonna roll out here? We're gonna have to copycat. Go for a little bit of copycat action. No, we protect. <laughs> yeah, we're protected. Battle was canceled, yo! Let's get it, baby. Let's get it. You love to see it. You love to see it. That might have been the funniest battle I've ever played. They were all paralyzed, unable to move. We were protect reading all day, and we just sweep them out. That was hilarious, guys. Here's one last look at this team. If you'd like to use it for yourself, run the code is at the bottom of the screen. Definitely use it up. Let me know how you do with it. Thank you to Jack once again for sending in this team. You guys would like for me to use your teams. Make sure you send them out the code in the comment section down below. Make it easy for me. Let me know if it's a singles or doubles team and leave a list of the Pokemon so I don't have to filter out and just search up all these teams in the rental codes. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.